Titanic gaming The channel where Logan will show you everything From gameplay to gear, their crew is here To take you on a journey through every atmosphere Releases to news, you don't have to choose Red Bandana Gaming is here for you Hey everybody, Logan here Yeah, today, another controller yeah, you know why? Because I got this one on sale. And I, I know with the holidays coming up and everything, well, depending on when you're watching it, a lot of people like to, you know, resort to YouTube and see, is this controller worth it? Should I buy this? Um, is Would this be a decent gift? Um, do I really want to spend my, my Christmas money or whatnot, my gift money on this controller is this the one i'm gonna need oh should i buy it for my kids along with their switch or something so people like to resort to these videos so that's why i'm gonna be doing quite a bit of these as i see them i'll get them on sale or whatnot and uh i'll review them now with this one this is the afterglow prismatic uh for the switch i covered the xbox series x one not too long ago pretty cool controller now there's also a wireless version of this, but I decided to go with the wired because something that the wireless doesn't have is the headset port. And where I play is I'm just a few feet from my TV in my game room wireless. I'd rather have the, the, the option of the headset port, even though it is the switch, I don't chat too much. So it's like a, a give or take, but if I'm going to play wireless, I usually use my pro controller. So, I, I like these uh, because of the lights. I'm a big fan of, I, I, I wouldn't necessarily say RGB, but lighted controllers because I don't like them to constantly change. I'm not a big fan of that. I like them when they just stay one color. And if you guys have seen the, um, the other ones I've done, the other lit controllers all, all out there, I usually stick them on red. Shocker. Blue is my favorite color, but it's red because red bandana gaming, of course. Red bandana, even though the shirt's in white, it's okay. So we're going to open this up. We're going to take a look at it. It is wired. Now, if you look at the back, it does come with a 10-foot cable. Has a 10-foot cable. Has the little uh, buttons on the back, which I never use. I don't know anybody who does. And customizable lighting. So these have always been pretty simple. There's just a little button right here on the front to change the color. So let's open it up. I'll connect it to my switch. And well, we'll we'll see if it's good. Hey, look, the Pokemon are back. Even though this isn't Pokemon, but hey, it's Switch, so it counts, right? Okay. So I one, I like the the box. I like how it's got that um, lenticular. I think that was called lenticular look, how the, the, the color changes. I've always liked that. Where the wireless box is just clear plastic see-through, and I was like, oh, you can just see the whole controller. I, I like that little lenticular look. That's pretty cool. So let's take the little trusty knife. And hey, look, you can see what time it is while I'm filming. But don't don't go by my watch if you're trying to figure out what time it is because you're not watching it at 2.10. Uh, there we go. Okay. So wire there instructions there now if it's anything like the last um one that i got oh, for the, the in terms of the lights this controls everything now it is situated a little different than the other controls but hey the other controllers are other controllers so let's put you guys to the side we'll move the box up there the cable there let's take a look at this sucker before we plug it in so one big question people ask about these third-party controllers, do they have rumble? No. You can clearly see right here. Oh, and this is the back. So it puts a little thing on the top. Okay. 
So this is the back. It reminds me of the um, the Fusion Pro, because I think this can come off. No. No. Wow, okay, no. So this is a new style. This doesn't come off. If it does come off, I will probably break it. There is... I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that's... A, oh, there it is. Okay. So this does come off. See, if I read the instructions first, I would have known that. But we're doing an unboxing. All right. So you can take that off. That's that little button right there pops it so the thing can come off. Oh, but that feels so weird. That feels so weird. It has a place where your fingers can sit. It just feels really weird. Um, okay, I wouldn't. But I guess if you don't like the buttons or don't want to accidentally hit them, I don't know. That that feels not good. So we'll pop this sucker back on. Okay. Uh, that feels a little better. It reminds me of the ones that they came out with earlier that had the uh, interchangeable faces, but without the interchangeable faces. <laughs> so you can see there's a light here. There's a light there, there, there. Uh, I don't see any other bulbs. Huh. Oh, you can see the reflection of my, my window. Don't see any other bulbs. So it looks like it only has those four. All right. Okay. So and that's the headset jack right there. It feels exactly like every other uh, version of their controllers of the PDP switch controllers. It feels exactly like that. All right. So let's plug this in uh, to the switch and let's see how it lights up and play with the colors. Now it's plugged in, as you can see, yeah, there are four light bulbs. And, well, it's pretty simple. Hit that button. All right, okay, so this one is very different than the other version. The other version, you hit this button, and then you move the stick, and then it'll change it. This one, you have to hit the D-pad. So. Change the color, hold it. Yeah, if that sounded familiar, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to leave that in. Um, I have something that holds an amiibo, the Legend of Zelda amiibo. And when you take out the Master Sword, because there's a Master Sword in the back that acts as a stylus, it goes off. But it's always been glitchy since I got it, and it'll randomly go off. So I'm just going to leave that in there. But So yeah, you hold the button here, and then you can press the directions on the D-pad to change it. Slightly, just tap, and you do it, or you can just hold it to get a variation. I'm looking for that red. That's orange, that's red. All right. Okay, the up and down, it's just left and right. There you go. Now, I'm gonna turn off the light and see how it looks in the darkness. So let's turn off all the lights. Fatoosh. Fatoosh. Now I go to the other side. Fatoosh. No lights coming in except for those from the windows. Sorry it sounds weird because I'm running across this large room. There you go. Like lighting effects you see in Power Rangers. It's more for time. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I just like the effects, how it looks on the camera. Pew, pew, pew. Okay. So, <laughs> there we go, guys. There's your look at the Afterglow Prismatic Color Select Lighting Wired Controller Mane Avec... Oh, wait, that's French. Deluxe Plus Audio Wired Controller. 
Yeah. Not too shabby. It's like, ah, I'm gonna, um, stuff is gonna happen. Oh, but yeah, it's funny. I'm in the menu system of the Switch and you can just see all kinds of things going crazy. Ooh, really responsive. Really responsive. Extremely responsive. That is nice. That's better than the other one. That is really nice. Interesting. Okay, there you go. Hey, so there's a little testing out there for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what you think about this controller. Are you interested in picking up? Drop it in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video. Head on over to redbandanagaming.com. Yeah. Follow us on our socials. Do that. I forget about that. Again, hit that subscribe button. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.